So what is the molar mass of calcium acetate? Well, I'm gonna use this table to help us organize our thoughts. Bam, so the first thing I'm gonna do is write down the particular elements uh, that I see in the compound, right? So I see calcium here, so let's write calcium down, Ca. I see carbon here, but I also see it here. Now that's okay, it's the same carbon, right? Carbon is carbon, so I'm gonna write carbon. Uh, I see a hydrogen, okay, not A, but I mean there's multiple, but th these are the individual elements. And I see two oxygens, but I'm just gonna classify that as one, you know, it's one type of element there. Next is the number of atoms. Now we're gonna take into account the number of atoms that we have of each particular element. So for calcium, uh, there's only a subscript down here of a one, and what that means is that there's one calcium atom. Now carbon, you just have to be careful here. Inside of the acetate anion, there are two carbons, one carbon there and one carbon here. However, and so that would be a total of two, right? If you had only one acetate, but you don't have one acetate, you have two of them. So therefore you would have a total of four carbons. Hopefully that makes sense if, it, if in each acetate you have two carbons, but then you have two acetates, right? It'd be a total of four now, because two acetates, two carbons in each, four, two times two. Then hydrogen, right? If So let's just erase this. So for hydrogen now, uh, we have three hydrogen here. There's no other hydrogen. But remember, this represents three hydrogen in acetate, in a single acetate, but you have two acetates. So therefore, there would be a total of six hydrogens. Okay, not five, right? It, multiplicative. And then for oxygen, in each acetate, you have two oxygens here, but you have two acetates in total. So that would be a total of four. All right, then what you're going to do is you're going to multiply those number of atoms by the mass of each particular element, and that's where the periodic table comes into play, right? So we've got to look these elements up. So these masses down here for calcium is 40.08, hydrogen is 1.01, .01, carbon is 12.01, .01, and oxygen is 16. Those masses will represent either the molar mass in grams per mole if you're calculating molar mass, or the molecular mass in AMU if you're calculating molecular mass, all right? So let's write those on down. So calcium here is going to be 40, 40.08. The mass of carbon there was 12.01, the hydrogen was 1.01, .01, and then oxygen is 16. Then to find the total mass of each element now in the compound, we're simply going to multiply this row on across, all right? So the total mass of calcium here is gonna be 40.08, because it's just one, there's one atom of calcium, and right, this is basically the mass. And then for uh, carbon, there's four elements, or excuse me, four atoms, and you have each particular atom has a mass of like 12.01, .01, right? AMU technically, but don't worry, the gram and per mole and all that stuff works out to be the exact same. Uh, this would then be 48, right, 0 .04. Uh, and then six hydrogens, so the total mass there is 6.06. .06. And then for oxygen, we have 64, all right? And then to find the total mass now of the entire compound, all it is, sum this column on up. When you sum it all together, it's gonna be 158, 0.18. Since we're solving for molar mass, the units here are in gram per mole, and that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that's fairly straightforward, and look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.